Hey, ¿qué tal amigos? Stuart here from Spain Speaks. Today coming to you from Madrid and we're going to be talking today about beer in Spain. Some of the best types of beer, some of the worst types of beer and generally about beer culture in Spain. Now the first thing I'm going to say is that beer is one of the most popular drinks in Spain, not only alcoholic but in general. Spanish people love beer and there is an enormous amount of different types of beer and if you go out in Spain you will see that beer is the, one of the most popular drinks drunk. Now I did a video last year uh, in which I went into a Spanish supermarket because the beer was cheap and I ended up buying quite a big amount of beer. Now that special is out again so I'm going to go back to that same supermarket buy the same beer and I'll show you some of the other beers as well. Now the first thing I'm going to say is that I copped a bit of flack last year about my choice of beer uh, a lot of Spanish people uh, wrote in the comment section that why did you buy that beer, that beer is terrible, that's the worst beer in Spain, you should be drinking this, you should be drinking that. And the reason that I bought that beer was simply from a price to quality ratio. Now one of the things about Spanish beers is that they're all fairly similar. Unless you go into the special beers, what they call the Cerveza Especial, the majority of the beers that you buy in Spain are very similar. In fact, you can't really tell the difference. So at the end of the day, it all comes down to price. So let's go to the supermarket. Yeah, so here we are at the supermarket. Again, it's the Carry 4 supermarket that I went to last year and I'm here simply simply because of the variety of beers that they serve at this place. Spain is a country where the type of beer you drink depends on the region that you live in, but at a supermarket like Carry 4 you can find all of the national beers. But if you're in, say, uh, Zaragoza, for example, and you go to a smaller supermarket, maybe you're only going to find a limited range. You're not going to find all of the beers. So as we can see here that uh, in Madrid, which is where I am, you drink uh, Mao. Uh, Mao is also fairly extended up through the Castillas, uh, Castilla Leon, Castilla La Mancha. You've also got uh, um, um, San Miguel, which belongs to Mao, also in the uh, Cantabria region there. In Aragon, they drink Ambar, Catalunya Estrella Dam. Um, Amstel in the Levante, uh, Estrella something or other there uh, that looks to be Murcia, Cruz Campo is the beer of choice in Andalusia and Extremadura, and if you go up to Galicia you can see Estrella Galicia. The Canary Islands, I don't know what they drink there, so if you're living in the Canary Islands or you visited the Canaries, let me know what type of beer they drink there. And you can see that in the uh, Balearic Islands, uh, San Miguel is the beer of choice. Now, I will say that there was a survey recently, and in this survey, uh, it was uh, shown that um, the majority of the beers that we drink on a day-to-day -day basis in Spain, so for example, Mao in Madrid, uh, Estrella Dam in Galicia, uh, Cruz Campo, uh, those beers are not the best ones in Spain. In fact, I think of 31 beers that were uh, tested, um, those particular beers were fairly average. Um, however, uh, a lot of these beer companies are also starting to make, um, how would you say, uh, like a, a premium type beer, and the premium beers actually scored better than these other beers here. One of the things they said about these beers was that they lacked taste, they all seemed fairly similar, they had no uh, individual character. They weren't really beers that you would, um, you know, um, enjoy if it wasn't, you know, extremely hot weather, which is, you know, what we have in Spain here for a lot of, for, uh, you know, at least the summer months anyway. So the beers um, weren't all that uh, good a quality. However, there were a couple. Estrella Galicia did quite well, and I think that Ambad did quite well as well. So the beers in, Ga in Galicia and in uh, Aragon did quite well. Surprisingly enough, in this survey, one of the best beers was a, uh, a beer that, like a home brand supermarket beer from the big chain here, El Corte Inglés. And um, I think it's uh, Ipercor Lager, as we can see here. And this beer actually scored better than for uh, than uh, Mal, for example, or Estrella Dam. 
So uh, keep that in mind as well when you're buying beer and also the, uh, the price aspect of those beers is also fantastic because I think that for 30 cents a can you can get a can of lager at the at the at the Corte Inglés supermarket and as we can see here this uh, carry four that I went to stocks all of those beers it stocks are uh, amber it's got Estrella it's got Voldam which is the premium uh, uh, beer from Dam um, you've got um, Estrella Galicia there as well Alhambra which is from Granada Estrella Galicia here, uh, always in stock and quite a popular beer, a little bit more expensive than Mao or San Miguel. And this is the reserve one, which was one of the best beers in Spain. So if you have a chance to check that one out, do it. Mao, of course, we're in Madrid. Mao is the best selling beer here. Madrid, uh, people in Madrid are uh, fanatic about Mao. There's two types. Well, there's three now. There's a premium one, but normally the green can and the red can. The red can is uh, cinco estrellas or five stars and the, and the green one is just like a classic beer here we've got San Miguel you can see the price of San Miguel you can pick up 28 cans for 12.80 and they give you the second pack of 28 for 3.90 so you get 56 cans of beer for 16 17 euros uh, amp still as well always on special 12.85 for one pack and then three something for the next and this one here as well so you get the half liter cans uh, two half litre cans for about 97 cents, quite good value. International beers are also quite good um, at Carry 4. There's a really big range. You've got your German beers, British beers, Mexican beers, Argentinian beers. There's a, there's a big, 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 big selection. Uh, Belgian beers as well. Uh, Irish beers, Guinness, they stock Guinness. And uh, also craft beers, which are also coming popular, but we'll speak about that in a minute. Here's a typical Madrid bar. You can see some of the beers on tap. Mao, here's a guy pouring a beer. Spanish people say that the secret of a caña is in the way that you pour it, and uh, they really stand by that as, um, as it's in the way that the beer is poured. Here you can see that this girl's uh, pouring me a, what they call here, a doble or a copa, and uh, yeah, on a hot day, it goes down really, really well. And uh, you can see that, uh, yeah, a little bit of froth on top, but uh, quite a good coloured beer. And here we can see people drinking uh, bottled beer. A positive thing is that since the crisis began, craft beer has really taken off in Spain. And we can see here that uh, craft beer has grown 1,600% uh, in Spain over the last few years since the crisis began. And uh, that's particularly good because a lot of these craft beers, although they're, they're a bit more expensive, they're actually worth the money in my opinion. And we can see here that there's a couple of the uh, Madrid varieties here. Um, uh, Chula is a beer from Madrid. And we've got a couple of the other ones here as well. Uh, these are ones from uh, La Chula, quite a good beer in my opinion. There's another beer here called Madrid, one called Gredos, which is a good beer as well. So, uh, you know, craft beers are definitely worth trying if you come to Spain. Uh, this one here, Sagra uh, from Toledo, quite good as well. Uh, quite a, uh, an, uh, an extensive range. They've got seven or eight beers that they, uh, that they sell. And here we can see my friend Antonio about to prepare one of these uh, craft beers for me, La Sagra. Okay, so I'm back from the supermarket. I ended up changing my mind about the beer and I went for the Mao Classica. So you can see here that I went for the half litre version. This uh, pack of 24 cans cost me about 12 euros. So not a bad bargain in my books. And uh, as I said before, a lot of the beer here in Spain tastes the same. You can't really distinguish uh, unless you go for one of those more expensive uh, uh, special type or reserve type beers or even a craft beer so whether you buy a Mao, whether you buy a Cruz Campo, whether you buy a Estrella Dam there's not much difference so it all comes down to the price at the end of the day so that's all I've got to uh, talk about today if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the section below if you have a favorite Spanish beer uh, let me know what it is whether it's a craft beer whether it's one of these uh, normal type beers whether it's uh, a beer that's in the region that you're living let me know what it is and uh, share it with the community. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next video. Hasta luego.